Hi there, guys, and welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. I tell you what, it's been a hell of a long time since we uploaded. My God. Um, reasons for that is there's not been a great deal to talk about regarding Barnsley. Um, until today, of course, where some news is coming out about one of his players. As you can tell, probably from the uh, from the title there. Uh, before we do, though, get talking, please drop a like and subscribe to Tax TV if you are new. It really, really would help. Um, and yeah, let's get straight down to what we're going to discuss on this Tuesday. Um, so yeah, as I said, there's not been a huge amount of news to talk about. It's fairly quiet. There's been the odd couple of bids, um, a fullback we've been after or something like that. Nothing too concrete, nothing to you know to to uh, to actually discuss and everything like that but um but it's nice to be back um you know i miss i miss doing it and and as you all know i do try and upload as frequently as possible and as daily as possible because that's how i've well i've, I've always tried to do it but um with there not being as many and of course i've been really busy at work family etc you all understand um so anyway let's talk let's talk um it looks like michael solbauer will have played you know, um, his last season for Barnsley, obviously under Valley and Ishmael, as he's looking to head back um, to uh, to Austria, um, even though he's got a year left on his contract, uh, he's looking to move back because he's been without his family, his wife and his uh, his child since since the beginning of the pandemic, etc. Um, and stuff like that. Um, does it come as a surprise? Yes and no, and I say yes because I, I did hear something about this a few months ago during when the season was still going, when the season was still on. I did hear something that Solbauer was missing uh, his family and he was homesick. I did hear something. Nothing actually came out about it like it has, and it's come out for, I think, Doug O'Kane on Twitter um, about this. Um, but other than that, you know... That, that that was it a few months ago. I, I just heard a rumour. I don't know who told it me, but I did hear a rumour that he was homesick. Um, so, uh, so no, it doesn't really come as a surprise in that aspect. On the other aspect, of course, you know, I'm, you know, I mean, I'm a surprise. I think I think game time as well. I think you know what we've got to be we've got to be honest here and look at Barnsley as a football club and how it runs. You know, us as fans, we know how it runs. The club runs. You know when you've got your Civics coming through, Andersons and, and, and obviously Elick, you know, Solbauer, as much as, you know, myself and a lot of other fans, you know, it's split. I think it's sometimes split the the, the opinion on how it works. Some And listen, I, I love the philosophy of what we do. You know, young players, give them a chance, give them games, etc. But as we've said, you know, you always need that experience. And that's why Solbauer came in. I mean, 2020 under Gerhard Struber, he signed... And that seems ages ago. Just think about that. 2020. It's only last year. January last year. But it seems a lifetime ago, does it not? I remember his debut against Portsmouth. He had a shocker. I think he were at fault for like three goals. Charlton uh, away. He were, he were poor in that one. And then, of course, back at Oakwell. You know, that's when he's... He, he, for the, since then, I think it was against Wednesday. He didn't put a foot wrong for us uh, ever since then. And it took him a couple of games to get settled, but it but it worked. And that he was the sort of central defender we were asking for. And if we'd have had him, maybe from the beginning of the season, you know, when when obviously we lost Pinnock and Lindsay that year, it, we might have we might have been a bit more comfortable. You you don't know, but he was certainly a, a a player we needed with his games and experiences under his belt. I mean, he spent a long time at his previous club when he joined Barnsley, and it's nice of him to come over, you know, show that commitment. And we saw a lot of that last season as well. You know, there were times where Sib when Sibic came back from his loan spell where uh, nothing against Sibic, we all said it, there was nothing against Sibic, but Solbauer, just that experience alone, you know, everyone says Sibic's got better pace, which he has. He's better paced. He's a young central defender. But Michael Solbauer's an experienced defender and sometimes your experience comes up here. And that's what it was with Solbauer. You know, he was fantastic for us. And he, he goes with my blessing because, like I said, he's come over here. There's been a pandemic on which he wouldn't have expected when he signed. You know, game time, yeah, I, I reckon he probably would be limited. So I think, you know, if, if it does end up like he is going to go, you know, we have to say, you know, thank you, Michael, for the for this last year and a half. Do you know what I mean? I, I ain't got a problem with that. 
what what obviously I want us to do now is I want us to try and get some players in. And listen, it's still early, you know. Well, it's actually probably a month. We've got four weeks until the season starts. I do think we need to get 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 some players in. And of course, Barnsley, we all know, you know, there's lot the they always. Not leave it, but obviously never really nothing comes out, and then all of a sudden there will be this miraculous week of signing, 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 signing. And that's what usually happens. But I do think we need to. Um, of course, with Solba, we're going. You know, there's Apo who can be cover now. Um, whether well, I mean, he's a player who maybe wants games. He didn't really play a lot last season. Um, but yeah, like I said, he goes with you know. I have to wave him off and say thank you, thank you for what you're doing. And, and, you know, I think when it comes to family, we've all said it before, family comes first before football. I mean, it happened with Tom Bradshaw. Barnsley were very very respectable with Tom Bradshaw. You know, he, his missus lived down London when we sold him and Barnsley obliged and said, you, you know, you can go. Um, as much as, you know, we can sit and say, yeah, I'd have, I'd have liked Tom Bradshaw to stay a few years ago, but... It is what it was, and I I would say we got probably the the better all round striker in Corley Woodrow when Bradshaw left. So every cloud in it, every cloud. Um, but yeah, the players, you know, I I think across the whole the whole pitch, I think I'd like to see a player come in. Um, maybe a, you know, I mean, some people are saying, well, we've got Styles and we've got Palmer. I still think I'd have another midfielder in there. I mean, there's Kane to come back as well. We all need to see what's going to happen with this manager and how he's going to set us up. Striker-wise, I'd like us to see another striker come in. Yes, I know we signed Devante Cole. I know we've got Woodrow. But I still would like another striker in there um, who, you know, who can be that bit of presence. And I know Devante Cole, you know, you know, since, you know since leaving us, it was a long time ago. We had him when he was young. Same way a lot of players, we get him when they're too young. And then when, when you know, like Tony, we had him when he was, too, when he was young. Um, but yeah, I think all across the pitch, I'd like to see a player come in. I think goalkeeper-wise, maybe you, maybe we are okay with Collins and Walton. I think they're very, two very decent championship goalkeepers. Um, but um, I, I won't be surprised if we did see a goalkeeper come in, but you don't know. Um yeah, and if Styles is obviously going to be playing in the midfield, you need a left back. Is Clark a dog going to get a feature? Do you know what I mean? He didn't really do anything last season. Didn't get any. Didn't come in at all for Ishmael. So it's one of those. It's it's one of those. But I, I would like to see signings across the part of the field. I really would. Um, and that's that's not obviously me panicking. But I do think we need to improve in areas. Of course we do. You know we've lost Mowat for a start. For me. You know, I think you do have to replace him. We've lost DK, who were never ours, really. But, of course, his goals and everything. We've got Morris as well, which hopefully, you know, he, he continues with the um, consistent performances that he that he uh, showed for us. But I still would like another player in there as well. Who, um, you, listen, like I said, it all depends on how we're going to set up. And, under, and up until now, you know, you never know how he's going to set up this manager. But we'll see on that. But going back to Solbauer... Thank you for his service, you know, if, if he does go. I mean, like I said, I'm only talking about it. It's looking like... I think Barnsley Football Club will respect and honour Michael Solbauer for wanting to, to move back home. I really do. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll obviously see in the upcoming days. But like I said, you know, it's touching now. Well, we've got four weeks until the season does start. Cardiff away. Train's booked. We've booked us train. Uh, we've back, bit the bullet. We're going on train. But we're going to go on coach. But we've bit the bullet. 50 quid return on train um just because we uh we rate wanted we, we, we wanted the train so uh, anyway guys get in the comments let me know your thoughts on this news and i will see you all very soon take care enjoy the rest of your week see you soon you reds